Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today I'm going to be telling you guys the top 5 tips and tricks for jailbreak trading, including a method to getting to the trading hub without having to go to the main game to teleport to the trading hub, like right over here. I have a shortcut that I want to show you guys, so yeah. Anyway, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. So the first tip is to stop using that jailbreak trading website. Stop using it. It's inaccurate and I can prove it. The first way you can tell this website is completely inaccurate is if you go to the official jailbreak discord, you can see this message from the Dinobot. It's being posted every single minute. As you can see, reminder, jailbreak trading are unofficial items, price sources, and are not endorsed by Bademo. With this like warning emoji right over here. I don't know, man. It's literally being like, you know, said like every single minute to get people to just, you know, don't use this website because, you know, it's not endorsed by Bademo because, you know, it's getting out of hand. Okay, so it says it in that channel, but Brian, like, why should I not use that website? You know, like, well, I can't. It's like jailbreak traded. You no, know? like, I want to use that website. Well, let me show you. So, first of all, look at this. This is the torpedo from that website um, basically five days ago when trading came out. It's literally 28 million, as you can see right there. It's 28 million. Do you know what the value is right now? It's 11 million. It dropped by 17 million dollars and that's a staggering negative 60%. And I'm just telling you guys, like, I think the owner of this website is trying to manipulate values just for their own liking. You know, maybe because it's biased or maybe because they just want to get more torpedoes somehow. But, but I'm just saying like dropping from like 28 million down to 11 million, that ain't normal, man. And that's a negative 60%. Let me just tell you that. Some more things that don't make any sense at all is look at this. This is the brick set spoiler and you get this in a package. You get the brick set spoiler and the brick set rims. It's literally 400,000 right here. And guess how much the rims are? The rims are 2 million. How does that make any sense at all? It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Another thing is the spinner rims is 20 million. Like who even comes up with these values, man? And the beam hybrid, the rarest vehicle in the game is 6.3 million. Like, okay. Anyway, stop using that website because it's so inaccurate and I see a lot of people using it and they're basically just getting completely bad deals. Like people can easily give you bad deals using that website. So do not use that website. It's also made by a YouTuber in the community, but you know, I'm not going to name who it is. The second tip is to use more than just a jailbreak trading hub. Use Discord servers. I'll recommend using the jailbreak Discord. The jailbreak Discord actually has a trading channel where there's a lot of people, so you can use the jailbreak one. Or you can use my Discord server. My, my Discord server actually has a win slash lose channel, and I feel it's pretty useful because people can actually see if their deal is good or bad or something. And I also have a trading channel right over here, which is pretty active. I also have trade offers, so a less active channel, so you can find other trade offers. So, all right, my next tip is this really cool method that someone actually told me about, and that is to go to the jailbreak trading hub without actually having to join the main game. Because right now I'm the main game, right? And like I have to drive from, you know, I guess if you go into a VIP server or something, you're gonna have to start from like the prison all the way over here or in the police team, you're at least not gonna have to drive or fly at least a little bit. And it's quite annoying because you wanna switch servers quickly, right? You wanna get those trade deals. But you know, driving all the way over here to the pirate ship and then teleporting takes like five seconds, right? So it's quite a while, it's really annoying. And you know, after a while, you know, it's gonna be pretty repetitive and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just not fun to just teleport like that. But what if I told you there is actually a way to do that by skipping all of this? And this is actually how. So as you can see up here, this is the URL of the game right up here. If you look at the jailbreak URL, it's actually this. It's like 60684. But you know, this one is uh, has a lot more numbers. So it's actually newly made. And that's because the trading hub is actually a sub game to jailbreak. And someone actually found the link to the sub game. And the cool thing is, I I'll leave this link down below so people can actually go to it. But uh, if you click this over here, you actually go back to the main game. So what you want to do is scroll down all the way over here to uh the other servers and you can actually join so you can actually go load more and yeah there's all these servers you can go to and uh yeah also shout out to this person right over here for wearing my merch and my cone i see i see you i see you you're cool man and you can also join friends so if you have multiple friends they'll probably show up here and you can go ahead and join them and proof let me just go ahead and just show you, I'm gonna start up Roblox and uh, join uh, one of my friends right here. As you can see, look, jailbreak trading. I immediately join that server. And, um, yep, all right, it's taking a little bit of time. Come on, load, please. 
And look at that, I'm literally in the Jailbreak Trading Hub without actually having to go through the game, like the main game. I can just go straight to it, and this is so helpful. And that leads me to my next point, is to switch servers. I'll recommend switching servers every five minutes or so. Because, you know, like in the trading server, I feel like after five minutes, if no one gives you actually a good offer, you know, just switch five minutes, switch servers, do something like that. You got to switch servers frequently because you got to find more people to do offers with. The next thing I would do is actually I would use million dollar vehicles to balance out trade. So, for example, like the, uh, Ronald McDonald actually... Well, yeah, Ronald McDonald actually offered me a Brulee. So I can offer a concept, and look at that. That immediately balances out the trade. So after you balance out the trade, you can ask them, Ronald, what do you want for it, you know? And then you can actually start to do your deal and stuff and uh, switch up your trade. So maybe I can offer something else and switch up the trade. But, you know, having it automatically balanced is pretty cool. Like, it's already there for you. So you don't have to, you know. Million dollar vehicles just help with balancing out. So I will recommend using million dollar vehicles. Concept is pretty good as well. And that leads me to my last point, which is to know your values really well. And I know I just said not to use this jailbreak trading website, right? But I actually have two value lists, which I think will help you guys out a lot. I've made two of them, which I'll definitely show you guys. It's probably going to be on the end screen of this video or link down below. So go check them out. It's a demand list, which I made based off of, you know, data from the official jailbreak discord and my discord. And it shows you the most popular vehicles. I personally go by that demand list. And I feel it's pretty accurate. The only thing that I don't agree with on my own demand list is the Airtail. It's number four for some reason, but I think that's because everyone uses the Airtail to you know sweeten up deals. So that's why it's being mentioned a lot. Another list I have is a rarity list. Now this list people are actually using for trading, but honestly, I feel like it should be used for owners of the vehicles to understand how rare it is, not really for trading. So this rarity list will help you guys know how much your vehicles are worth and stuff, you know, how rare it is. And I use the most recent and confirmed information to make this rarity list happen so you guys can go check it out unfortunately a simo is not showing the number of owners for vehicles for some reason um he said he was going to estimate but he decided not to do that so until a simo actually gives us an estimate so until he puts the number of owners that's when i'll make another rarity list or an updated one, obviously. Basically, I'll update the rarity list when Asimo actually reveals the number of owners, because, you know, it'll be easier to determine rarity if there's a number of owners. But for now, that is the list. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll have a rarity list and also a uh, demand list for items. But, yeah, stay tuned for that. It'll be coming soon. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and bye!